Taurus, you amazing, beautiful Taurus. All right. So this is the channeling I got for you as I was meditating. It actually popped in my head before I even started meditating. Pain and pleasure. I'm getting some kinky vibes. Who's into BDSM or likes it really rough? Now, you don't tell your partners about your kinky nature. You just want them to know. And that has not been working for you, has it? This is why. They have, oh, this is this has not been working for you. You just want them to, to naturally know the things you like kinky wise and that, that it doesn't work that way. This is why they've left you, they broke up with you and or they've ghosted you. Okay there, Taurus? Um, you have to be truthful, Taurus, okay? N no manipulation, all right? It's not about power, it's not about control. Just God's honest truth. Be truthful with them, okay? You're asking you shall receive. You are gonna be so surprised on how well this works and how well it's received with your partners. And they're, they're all about it and it's about safety, okay? Remember, they can't read your mind. I can read your mind, but they cannot. Actually, we all can. We just have to tap in and do it. So even the title for this, I got pain and pleasure. Someone is really into kinky rough play. So Taurus, just be honest about it. And you wanna, you, Yes, you're hiding. You're hiding your true self. For some of you, I'm getting it is a little control, insecurity. You also do that thing, and I don't know if it's you. It might be the other person too, Taurus. You let me know in the comments. Uh, but you let me know about that thing that uh, you, you say, no, I don't like, I don't want that sexually, but you do. And you, of course, you're never going to get what you want if that is what you are saying. Okay? Ask and you shall receive. Be open about it. Talk about it. And I can hear you all know, well, what if they're not... What if I into it? Well, good. Then you don't want them around, do you? That's a very simple thing. That one door will close and a whole new door will open of exactly what you want. And it, even, even if they aren't really into it as well or, or intimidated by it, that's fine. Maybe they'll work on it with you. And if not, again, that door will close and you will, you being honest, right, will we'll stop the ghosting. We'll stop the, the manipulating. We'll stop all of that. Honesty is always the best policy, everybody. It really is. Now, how many of you go, well, someone was honest with me once and I didn't like it. Well, was it true? Hmm. That's probably why you didn't like it. Because if someone really goes out of their way and does something, usually you're just like, what? Uh, whatever, okay, and I'll go on my way. It doesn't bother you, right? So yes, there was probably some truth in what they said. You know what I'm talking about, Taurus. Now, what I'm really being called to right now, Taurus, even though that will be the title for your, um, that's what's causing those tower moments, not being honest like that, Taurus, okay? And you know what's funny? Because this is a Statue of Liberty. You know what's going to bring you liberty, right? Freedom, liberation. I'm getting other words too, but we're going to keep those to ourselves, you, you, goes with the libido stuff. Anyways, freedom. It's going to bring you the freedom. And I'm seeing sexual freedom. Um, really, finances is really the thing I'm being called to right now to talk to you guys about. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out too. That is what's going to stop some of those tower moments for y'all, which, by the way, are never really as bad as you think. I know they can be, ah, in the moment. But some things got to break down to build up. This is just interesting. I'm just looking at the Eight of Swords here. Interference. By not being honest, you were like running interference on yourself is what you were doing, right? By either you or the other person not saying what they were truly into. And that that's like leaking over into every aspect of your life, your work. Some of y'all, it's a kinky thing at work. I'm getting a military thing. Uh, or, or some some folks corporation, which I don't know how you hide it there. That's crazy. Everyone knows, by the way. Everyone knows. They saw that Christmas party. Uh, that's very specific for someone. It's funny because source is communication, but you're running interference because you're not being truthful. You're not being truthful. Let me show you this card too. This is a this is an interesting card. It's like there's this TV. There's this vision of something that you. Do you like, like filming it? You like filming stuff? But um, yeah, you're not getting to watch what you want because you're kind of running interference on yourself. Again, take it 
It might be them. This might be you. Let me know in the comments, everybody. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's shuffle this up right here. Yeah, I'm really being called the finance. What is, are you running interference with your, with your job as well, with your work? Um, I'm getting that someone needs to humble themselves. I'm getting a young person too. Not an older person kind of gets it. And, and I'm, I'm getting like 30 and above kind of gets that. Sometimes you just got to do a job that you don't want, that it's not forever, but, but it, it, it leads you to the job that you want or the career that, path that you want. Uh, some of you all want to do what I'm doing. Go for it. Someone younger though, turn down uh, a job or turn down something because they weren't going to pay you enough. What you didn't know was that the first six months was a trial error or trial basis, right? But you made the error of not knowing that or asking questions. I think they were offering you like 20,000 a year or 30,000 or something. And you're like, ah, it's really not enough for what I've, I guess you graduated. Um, and yeah, they're not going to pay you that at first. There are people who've been there for 30 something years who make well over that, who have experience. What's going to happen is I know you felt like a hot shot in college, y'all, whoever that's for men and women I'm getting. Um, why do you think when you go to a job, and maybe you don't know this, but then you get on the job training because there are people there who, yes, have their masters, some have doctorates, and I always say that's a that's a scam and a half that they make you go back to school and learn more in a school when you can learn a thousand times more in that boardroom, all right, on the streets, if you will, but yet you have a nice plaque that says, I have a doctorate, good for you, good for you, education, knowledge is power, good for you. Um, not my, my school of thought, but, but they will teach you. They would have taught, taught you this. And after six months, your pay would have, would have been bumped up. And now you're thinking, well, they didn't tell me that. Again, what did I just say about experience? There you go. Experience trumps education. That's probably the best education you get at times. Speaking of which, the queen of swords, the painter, someone here really wants to be an artist. Ooh, someone took a job. Thank you. Did you all hear that other voice? Took a job and it's not what you want to do. You're an artist. You're a painter. You're a drawer. You're an actor, performer, a singer. Um, very abstract as well. And it's kind of made you the queen of swords. A, the queen of swords in a way that you, you know, you yes, this is what I do. But also you became a little bitter, I'm getting, because you didn't pursue what you want. It's now kind of a, a side hustle. Ooh, you'll find the balance because I'm seeing a six with another tower right here with He-Man cards. But six also means balance. That's what I'm seeing right there. Um, it, you're going to get kind of into a tower moment. That's two towers we pulled right there. But notice the panther. Oh, wow. I love that we're going to this deck. Notice the panther here, okay? That is also your jaguar guides, your panther guides. You are protected. It was all meant to be this way. Don't quit your art. Don't quit your art at all, ever. You'll find a way. Today's society, there's so many different ways. You're gonna draw, you're gonna paint, you're gonna do whatever this art is that you're doing, and you're gonna put it up on YouTube or tick tickety talk or, you know, and boom, people are gonna see it. Like, who is this artist, right? We have a whole new medium uh, of, of creating now. It's, yes, thank you. Um, the power's in our hands. Back like 20 years ago, when I got into acting, I still had to get the backstage and read it and the Ross reports and then, you know, circle the, oh, this will fit my age and then go to the play audition with everyone else or go to the, the film audition with everyone else. Nowadays, know what I do? I click, click, send it, you know, uh, headshot, resume. They get back to me. I film the scene send it, right? Even that's a little annoying at times. Not annoying, that's how it's done. I, I'm a creator, I'm an artist just like you. Make my own art, okay? Because I find sometimes I get around other people and as a uh, clairsentient empath, things like that, and I know everyone's secrets. I'm like, I gotta get away from you all. Um, and there's a lot of insecurity too, artists. So you get it, you get it. But also step into your queen of swords energy. You've got the power. You've got the focus uh, there, Taurus. So you will be doing... I'm getting the Queen of Swords energy in the bedroom. Okay, where are we, you? Um, sex is an art as well. Have fun with it. Have fun. But you got to be honest with that. Just like uh, uh, in this job. It won't be forever. 
It may not be for everyone. Maybe it's, it, whoever's the older individual I'm getting here, um, you already know. You already know this. You've got the experience. Maybe that. You, maybe you had to go back to school for this, but you've always wanted to be an artist. Ace of Wands, again, Statue of Liberty, bringing that back around. That hand was always there. Give us your, give us your sick, your poor, your hungry, your weak. You were never any of those things, but that's you're a helper, right? You have the magic, you have the fire. Look at the solar plex going on. You can do it. You're gonna do both things, okay? You won't have to do them forever. You may get a little tired, but you will. You will be free. That's the magic. That's the liberty. That's the torch. You are the light bearer. You can do it. You can do it. I have a feeling I'm gonna shuffle this again and we're gonna pull the fortitude card. That's what I'm feeling right now. Or I'm just saying it to you right now. Fortitude. And don't even let anyone try to break your mental fortitude. When someone tells someone, ooh, that they can't do it, they're saying they can't do it. Again, I split the deck. Interference. We're diving into this. Because this has to do with your finances as well. Someone is a chef. Let me know in the comments, y'all. This is twice now, this interference, 11, 11 on the clock. Don't let it bother you. Be in flow. Other people want to run interference. This is no longer you interfering with yourself. This is other swords that aren't yours, like trapping you, trying to block you. Don't let it bother you. That's how these swords are going to go away, right? And you might want to watch the Capricorn reading too. I had a lot of this energy in here. Be cool. Don't give them the satisfaction of seeing your anger, your angst, anything. Roll with it and it's all good. For some of you, yes, they'll keep adding pressure or um, files or work. That's okay. You will renegotiate and get a bigger paycheck as well. I'm seeing these swords slowly, one by one, opening right? Being taken off 12, 12 on the clock. So you can see the screen and this screen is who you really are and what you really want in life. Right? And I'm feeling it's your art and it's your finances. You can have best of both worlds. I can't stand that, um, starving artist. You're starving. I was an artist. I'm an artist still and I'm not starving ever. I'm always eating, eating a lot too. All right, we're getting a lot of swords here. We have the Ten of Ruin. Yeah, you went through it. You're still going through it right now with it, right? The sex thing too. It's that queen, lot of swords, a lot of swords. It's like you're stumbling to hold on to that Queen of Swords energy. You don't have to do that, right? Meditate, breathe, work out. Watch my workout videos, y'all, and be in flow. You know what? You might want to watch the, uh, crap, what were they? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius readings as well. Uh, those were a lot about like SEX cult stuff going on in your neighborhood, in your work, around you. You might want to watch that. I think that has something to do with the swords too that you weren't aware of. So to your intuition, rejection is protection. So... You know what's great though? All this, all these swords, all this, it's coming to completion. Again, someone's going back to school, they're graduating, that's the magic, right? But you also have the experience in life. And if not, you are getting it. That's the magic. This is all coming to a, a conclusion. You'll get to do what you want. You're getting that job that you want. Some of you are a little younger, so you're just getting the experience. Some of you are older and you already have it, but you are graduating right here. Four of Wands. I'm hearing, I've got the touch. I've got the power. More Wands energy. Look at this. Right here. Valor. True Valor. Right? Not, not Valor because you want other people to look at you in your uniform. No, you have True Valor within you. Meaning you are honest. How do we start this reading? Honesty. You're being honest with your lovers. You're being honest with yourself. You're being honest with your life. Honest with everybody right? And you're so open now. You're so open and it's amazing. And it, it, it's like magic. 
your words are going to have so much more impact now. It's bringing on the change, right? What did we say about working out? What do we say about working out? Right there, it's bringing on the change. Your balance is amazing. Look at you on that balance ball. Some of you are at this office job. Do you sit on a balance ball? Let me know in the comments, y'all. Right? I know it's the two of uh This is how it starts, though. You're able to balance. Don't give them the satisfaction. Don't give them the satisfaction. This is how well you balance it, right? When you're you're just be calm and cool, and they're gonna they're gonna be a little annoyed. That's weird, right? Because you're handling it. You're better than handling it. You bounce it like a champ and you're looking good. You're looking good doing it, right? It may be a gym uh, job as well. Maybe you're a trainer, but this is where it's leading you, everybody. The universe ascending higher and higher, further and further. It's like you got the world in your hand, right? You got the entire universe in your hand and you're like taking the leap of faith. You're really trusting yourself for the first time ever here and you just know it's gonna work. You just know you have this feeling. Look at this. It's like these stairs just magically appear in front of you and you can just walk them. You've done this throughout time as well, through many multiple lifetimes. I'm getting to that. Some of you live in San Francisco, let me know. Or that you're made of gold, there you go. But this is what you're getting. Look at this reef around you right here, the universe. Not just the world, the universe, okay? And you know where it's gonna bring you? Pleasure. Pleasure. What do we just say? The six of cups right here. Look at this pleasure. Look at these hands. You know what's happening. Sexy time. Fun sexy time. And you're going to spill those, those wine glasses right there. Maybe you have a little drinks before a little fun time. But this is where it's leading you. To pleasure. To pleasure. Okay? So much. Work. Home. Life. Lovers. You saw me shuffle this deck over and over. The lovers, marriage. Someone's going to go to Paris. It's like a, a honeymoon. Uh, something about the Eiffel Tower. Not a swinger way Eiffel Tower. Yeah, right? Look it up. You'll, you'll see it. Urban Dictionary, y'all. But you're going to be intertwined with another light because you've let it go so much. that that Not that you let people walk on you at all, right? You've just illuminated. It, it, it's so beautiful. Being honest like this, it brings in the lover. Men, women, 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 men, men, man, woman. And look at this love. It's bringing you to marriage right here. The lovers. You saw me shuffle this. <laughs> Ten of cups. Ten of cups. Everything. Everything. I'm hearing fame, money, fortune, love, the family, pregnancy. You're pregnant now with so many ideas and physically pregnant as well. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Right? Healing. The rainbow is healing. Also pride. Yeah. This is for everyone watching. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is for you, Taurus, right? Thank you all very much. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like personal reading, please email me at McDaniel, M-C-D-A-N-I-E-L dot Pat, P-A-T, at gmail.com. All right, I'm doing a uh, 10 minutes for 15 minutes, 10 minutes for 15 minutes, $10 for 15 minutes right now, and $5 for 10 minutes. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Till next time.